Well, the summer months can bring dry air and grass or forest fires in the south, but the Georgia Forestry Commission is spending the next few days training firefighters how to use heavy equipment to extinguish, extinguish them. Our Kayla Solomon asked participants how this will help. When forest fires happen, it's the job of forestry commissions and fire departments to work together. That's what the Heavy Equipment Academy is all about, with the addition of plows, dozers, and tractors. Dozers play an important role into stopping the progression of a wildfire. The academy covers the 13 southeastern states from Texas to Virginia. Randall Fox is a former participant and now is one of the coaches here from Texas. So this, a lot of this material that I obtained from this academy will go back into the thought process of redevelopment of our a future dozer program. Fox and other coaches are teaching 32 firefighters how to operate and use the heavy machinery on different terrains from flat land to slopes. Before students can actually get in the driver's seat, they have to spend hours learning the maintenance of the dozers and also the terrain they'll be working with. Of all those 13 southeastern states, um, many areas have similar terrain and topography. And so the lessons that we learn here in Macon, Georgia can be applied no matter which state that you end up in. The participants are all nominated. Antonio Hill was one of them. In North Carolina right now, it's, 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 it's unusual year there this year. It's, it's, it's actually kind of hot and dry, but now since the storm's coming out from the Gulf, it's, we're gonna get some of that rain and it's gonna wet things up, so we're gonna get out of our fire season a little bit. Hill learned how to take a plow on and off of a dozer, and he says this type of training will be helpful for him to use back at home. We have similar vegetation and uh, the types of uh, grasses and trees here as well as in North Carolina, so it's a real, real important to take this training back. For Hill and the others, the end of the eight days will get them a certificate and a new skill set. In Baldwin County, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. The Academy lasts until June 13th, and the Georgia Forestry Commission says they plan on start planning for next year on the 14th.